fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. One Silver, on the trail of the Black Arrow. Two Silver, fire! Far from their fort, a small band of army hunters were ambushed by one of the most notorious gangs in the West the Breed Latham Gang. From the scant protection afforded by their horses, the soldiers fought bravely against the heavy odds. There was not one of them who wasn't wounded. Yet they fought on, fought the outlaws who were sheltered by protecting rocks and boulders. Fight to the end, boys. There's no chance for any of us to survive. But take as many of those crooks as you can. They're firing me too, the dirty double-crossers. Why shouldn't they fire at you? I, I didn't mean that, Captain. You're our guide. You led us here. You knew about this death trap, didn't you? Let go of You're me. one of Freed Latham's men. What is that, Captain? You say our guide was hired by Latham? They're shooting me along the rest of you. Latham, you want to read double-cross and double deal oh. They got him. Serves him right. <laughs> Boys, they just beat a Jake Plummer. Good read, he was one of our own men. He done his job. Now come on, get the rest of them. You're wasting too much time on this here job. There ain't been no friends from the soldiers for the past few minutes. Hold your fire. Uh, reckon we got the last of them. Better make sure. Hank, stick your head out and see if anyone takes a shot at it. Right. Sure will be mighty fancy when we get those soldier uniforms, Breed. <laughs> we'll have things our own way around here. Uh, ain't been no shots fired in my head, Breed. All right, then. Boys, half of us will stay here and watch. The rest will go forward and make sure there ain't no survivors. Then we'll take the army uniforms we need. While Breed Latham remained behind, other members of the gang inspected the fallen soldiers. They made sure there were no survivors of the battle. Then the outlaws gave the signal and Latham and the rest of the gang moved up to join them. Get rid of the horses that's wounded and take the ones that ain't. We want to wipe out all traces of this fight. The rest of you get them uniforms. From now on, we're going to look like soldiers. And you'll take the captain's clothes every evening. That's right. I'll be the captain. I don't know how far ahead they are, Tato, but we should overtake the troopers before sundown. You sure of what you hear? About Breed Latham? Ah. Uh-huh. I wouldn't doubt it. 
Ray Latham has enlisted a mighty strong band of outlaws. He has at least 30 men riding with him. What him want? Uh, of course, the main thing he wants is power. He feels the best way to get that power is to get an army ready to take orders from him. Well, how him get army? Oh, I don't mean an army like our own. I mean a band of men who are trained in gunplay to carry out his plans. Well, as soon as we overtake Captain Conway, we'll pass the word that Latham is in this part of the country. He can be on the watch for him. Who give Breed Latham order? I don't know. That's one thing I'd like to find out. Breed Latham has never been more than a petty sneak thief and a prowler. Never been able to make big plans until the past few months. I'm sure there's someone higher up who's doing his thinking for him. That's the man I'd like to get. Um, maybe Army help us get him. Hello, did you hear that? Huh? That army bugle. We're near Conway now. Come on, Silver. <laughs> That's all right. Maybe it'll come in handy for you to handle a blowing horn like this. Yeah. <clears throat> How's this uniform look on me? Uh, first read. Get your legs made for you. <laughs> yeah, you button them buttons, Hank. Oh, no. I don't wear these suits like we were soldiers. Can't take no chances. And remember all of you boys. Call me captain now and show respect to me. Oh, 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 sure, she's ready to see you in the army. I says call me. Oh, all right, all right. There ain't no one here we should perform first. Get used to calling it. All right, Captain. Now that we've got these outfits and there are no survivors of an ambush, we figure the next move. I guess what is the next move, Breed? Getting a supply of cash. Them's our orders. Hey, maybe you're told where to go for that cash, eh? Easy. Where to serve as the guards on a gold shipment. Army pay that's coming through. Oh, that's different. Won't there be regular guards out, Breed? I mean, Captain? Yeah, Captain. What about the regular guards? They ain't none. Oh. Sure of that, boss? I got instructions. All we got to do is tell the men on the train that we're assigned to guard it through the bad country, just in case someone tries to stick it up. The uniforms will help a lot. Sure they will. If we didn't have these uniforms and we hadn't finished off those soldiers, we might have a little argument on our hands. But now... We we'll just get aboard the train and take off that gold when it's convenient. <laughs> hey, boss, there's a couple of riders heading this way. Yeah. Yeah, let me do the talk. Where's the redskin? Hey, the other's wearing a mask. Don't tell me that. Reed, you think the same as I am? I wonder if that ain't the critter that's been making so much trouble for us. The Lone Ranger. We'll find out. And if it is... <laughs> Hi there. I'm looking for Captain Conway. Well, what did you want of me? You're the captain. You can see my uniform. What's that mask mean? Who are you? Captain, I came to warn you. Reed Latham is in the vicinity and looking for you. Reed Latham? Yes. Uh, what's he look like? I've never seen him, but he's the leader of a pretty strong gang of outlaws. He and his men are going to try to ambush you. Oh, they are, huh? Well, thanks for telling me. We'll be ready for him. Now, you explain that they're mask. Who are you? That's not important. Oh, no, it ain't. It's mighty important. Hold your guns on them, boys. <laughs> now, stranger, take off that mask. Captain Conway, I simply came to warn you not to answer questions. I think you'll know who I am. Those bullets in this belt are silver. Oh, you're called the Lone Ranger, huh? Oh, oh, Ranger. I am. Well, now, that's real lucky, because I was just wishing for the help of the Lone Ranger. How's that? Well, we've got a job assigned to us, guarding a shipment of gold that's to pay the soldiers out here in the wish. Oh? Can we count on your help? Anything I can do, of course I'll help. There's a plenty you can do. You just fall in with my men and you stop at the railroad right now. Very well. Barton. Yes, sir. Right next to the Lone Ranger. Wilson, take yeah. charge of the engine. Hank, you ride with me. Right. Mount up. Let's get started. <laughs> After several hours of riding, the men in uniform held the same formation with Breed Latham and Hank riding side by side. <laughs> Hank, the Lone Ranger in town don't suspect the thing. This is going to be easy. I wonder if they don't. Hmm? Don't seem possible we could take the part of troopers and not have them suspect something. We don't know nothing about the way Army does things. That's just it. The Army out here ain't got no regular way of doing things. Each detachment runs things its own way. It ain't formal like in the East. The officers and men are more friendly here. Uh, maybe so. We'll be at the railroad in short order now. You ain't made no mistake about the gold being on the train, have you? The gold will be there all right. Right in the baggage car. Uh, here's hoping anyhow. Hear that? Choo-choo. <laughs> That's right. She's here. The thing we didn't waste time. That's the train you're to meet, Captain? That's it. 
I'll tell you what I want you to do now. I've been wondering. I don't see why you need help in guarding that train. You've got a lot of men with you. Well, you see, the point's this. We got information that the Latham gang's going to try and steal that gold. Where did you get that information? We got it. It's a secret where from. Oh, I see. It don't matter anyhow. What matters is that we want to take every precaution. I want part of my men to ride ahead of the train and do some scouting. I want them to make sure there ain't been no logs put on the track or something like that to wreck the train. I will still leave you men to ride with the gold. Maybe so, but <laughs> not men like you. I want you to ride in the baggage car, you and the engine. And take your horses in there with you. Very well. Yeah, that's risking it. No telling how Breed Latham will make his play to get that gold. We'll take whatever risk there is. Good, good. I knew I could count on you. Where will you and the other men be? We'll ride right alongside the train. Can you keep up with it? I'll tell the engineer to go slow. Better be slow and sure than hurry and lose a soldier's pay, huh? <laughs> yes. Better to be sure. Spur up a bit, boys. We want to get to the station when the train does. <laughs> scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Tonto were in the baggage car with the men in uniform, outlaws in disguise. More of the murderous members of the lawless band rode alongside the train, while others had already gone on ahead. Reed Latham was confident, smiling at the perfection of his scheme. After several miles, he turned to the man on his side. You hear something, then? It sounded like a couple of shots from inside the car. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> Two shots, no more, no less. You figure Hank has done his trick? Hank and Vince don't muff things. I'll make sure, though. Looks like the door of that baggage car is being opened. Yeah, so it is. Hank Reed! Everything all right in there, Hank? You hear the shot? Yeah. Right, go ahead with your plans. Good. We'll take the stuff we want off the train when we get to Red Rock. Right. I'll shut the door now. Everything's going right along according to plan. <laughs> Joe pays to make the plans right. Reed, it don't seem possible that the Lone Ranger's really been done for. Well, you heard what the Hank said. Big advantage of getting the man off his guard. That's how we got the Lone Ranger. Oh, God, now think of it. We got the Lone Ranger. The train stopped at Red Rock. Horsemen raced to the cab of the engine, and a volley of shots rang out. Hurry up, over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa. 
Maggie's car door was open. All right, Hank. Hand out them sacks of money. Here you are, please. You call me captain. Here's another sack. All right, boys. Bring that ramp over here. All right. What about them horses? Here, take the bridge. We'll fetch the wagon kiddo. All right, bring them out now. We can use them. Come on there. What's the matter with you? Here, let me take the bridle. He called that one Silver, didn't he? Come on, Silver. We're going to take you to a new master. Look out, Reed. Where that dog on tighten my galoot? He almost cracked my head with those hooks. Fighting critter breed. Better if we let him here with the Lone Ranger and Charlie. Yeah, maybe so. Take him with us and he was seen. It'd be dangerous. It might tear us into this room. Yeah, it might at that, Hank. I'm going to take a look at that Lone Ranger. Sure is sprawled out pretty. Let him alone. The more they go into that car, the more chance there is of leaving clues. Let's get out of these parts. Leave the horses, them two on the floor. Come on, boys. Mount up and clear out. Hey, Reed. Maybe it'd be best if you went to the next town and reported. You've got the captain's uniform. Yeah, that's so. I'll take charge of the rest of the men. Good. I'll take four of the boys. We'll fix ourselves up with bandages and go on to town. I'll tell the sheriff about the fierce fight when we went through. We'll go to the hideout and wait there for you. You better. And don't you get any ideas of trying to make off with that cash? Of course not. Because if you do... Well, you know what had happened then. Then, who? Oh, this ain't our cash. Belongs to the Black Arrow. Right. Be sure you tell the sheriff a good story. You leave that to me. Breed Latham told his story smoothly. The sheriff listened attentively, nodding from time to time. When we saw that there wasn't a chance of beating that pack of thieves off, Sheriff, we... We figured the best thing to do was get away. Uh, I see. Go on, Captain. Someone had to be left alive so the crooks could be identified. Sure. All of our men got a few wounds. You can see my bandages. They're serious? No, but I ain't told you the worst of it. The worst? On that train, inside the baggage car, there was a couple of special guards. Well? One of them was masked. The other was a redskin. Masked? And guard and army pay? Well, yes. He's known as the Lone Ranger. What's that? That's right, Sheriff. The Lone Ranger and Tano. And they were both shot by the thieves. Hold on, Captain. Oh, your chair. Never mind the chair. Do you mean to stand there and tell me the Lone Ranger was a guard on that train and the thieves got away with the gold in spite of him? He couldn't do a thing, Sheriff. He's done for. You mean to say that it... No, I... I can't believe it. It's right, though. You'll find his remains where he fell, inside the baggage car. The Lone Ranger. That sure is a mighty hard blow to the West, to the country, to everyone. Yeah, that's the way I felt about it. You come back with us, we'll show you where the fight took place and help you trail the crooks. I'll be right with you. Good. Get my extra guns and my best horse. Then I'll be ready. We'll run down these murdering pole cats. It was the last thing we do. There's the train still standing on tracks. So don't see any dead men sprawled around. Well, I told you, didn't I? That we seen that the fight was hopeless. We'd be to retreat. Yeah. There's the baggage car. The door's open. Oh, so I see. That's where the Lone Ranger and Tonto was, huh? Yep. Oh, 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 oh. The ground here is too hard to show hoof marks. It'll be real hard to trail these critters. That's why I thought I'd better come for you and help you. I'm about the best there is in the army when it comes to following the trail. Well, can you find any trail around here? Sure can. Them critters come from over that way. They went back the same way. Maybe we should have brought some deputies. This is a big gang, you say? Six of us can handle them if we get them by surprise. I'm right anxious to get after them. But say, Captain, huh? didn't you and these four put up any fight at all? Sure we did. You all got wounds, but didn't you damage the other some? Sure. Well, I don't see any of them left behind here. I reckon the dead was carted off by the others. Oh, well, let's get started. What's that? That comes the baggage car. A horse. Oh, yeah. The Lone Ranger's horse stayed there. So turn I almost forgot. I better have a look at those two, just in case they ain't completely dead. Oh, look at that. There he is. That's him right. What the hell is it? It's the Lone Ranger. Oh, Enchanto. Ghosts. They must be. Hello, Sheriff. You ain't dead at all. Oh, I promise. Tonto and I are going to help you, and uh, we'll keep you company. Yeah, I'll be surprised. Captain Conway. And tell your men they were not ghosts. Where'd you say those outlaws went? That way. Now, you're mistaken. They went that way. But, but we I... We saw them riding away. Sheriff, you and the captain start riding toward that woods. Otto and I need the help of these four soldiers inside the baggage car for a few minutes. Doing what? I'll help you. No, I don't want you and Conway to help. I want those four men. Now, now, hold on. Why do we have to go in there? A little unfinished business. What? See here, my, my wounds. I don't think your wounds will hinder you. Come on. Or, uh... Don't you want to help me? Well, uh, what's the matter with you? Will you tell your men to help, Captain? Uh, well, uh, well, go on. Dad read it. There's something funny about this. You, you better go help the Lone Ranger. Uh, the four of us, eh? Yeah. Go on in. Leave your horses here. 
Sheriff, you can start ahead with the captain. I don't know. I'll overtake you. Come on, Captain. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Now, Tonto, let's go inside. No, no, she here. How come you're still alive? Save your breath. You'll need it shortly. There are four of you here, and we all know that you have no moon. But why do you want You can wonder why Tonto and I are still alive. It'll give you something to think about while you're waiting for the sheriff to come back and take you. There won't be much else you can do except think and wonder. Because you're going to be tied and tight. What's the idea? I'll talk. You just listen. I couldn't save the life of the engineer and fireman of this train. I'm sorry for that. There have been a lot of times in the past when I felt dissatisfied in handing members of your Black Arrow Legion over to the law. I felt that I wanted to administer a little punishment myself. So has Tonto. You, you don't mean you... There are four of you, and just two of us. I'm not going to draw my guns, and you're not going to get the chance to draw yours. We're going to hog tie you. But first, we're going to give you a thrashing you'll remember until you hang. And here's a starter. Oh, Tonto! The Lone Ranger and Tonto swung into action. They ducked, dodged, and parried, fighting with a coolness of men who were determined to meet out well deserved punishment. The outlaws, not used to fighting with fists, swung wildly, moved clumsily and slowly. One after another, they sprawled on the floor, got up, went down again. They had no chance to draw their guns. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were everywhere. Then, when the battle was over and the outlaws were tied hand and foot, the masked man turned to Tonto. Tonto, perhaps I shouldn't have done that. Perhaps we should simply have roped them. <laughs> That's plenty good. Tonto, like good fight. Come on, Tonto. We've got to join the sheriff before he reaches that camp. Uh, get him up, Tonto. to go, Sheriff. Camp is just ahead. I don't see how you're following any trail. We're not. If you ain't following no trail, how do you know where you're going? I'll tell you. Hank told me where the hideout is. Hank? Yes, Hank. He and Vince Williams were put into the baggage car to kill Tonto and me. What's that you say? That's the truth of it, Sheriff. That's why this man who wears the army uniform thought we were dead. He ordered two of his men to kill us. That ain't so. Just as true as the fact that you're not Captain Conway. Sheriff, this man is the one who led the gang of train robbers. He's the one who led the attack on Captain Conway's troopers and wiped them out. He's the one who was the leader of a unit of the Black Arrow. Why? All right, if you know so much, if you're so smart, dodge this bullet. Oh, good work, Tonto. (laughs) Him for death, Tonto, on the other side with plenty of hard fist. You knocked him out cold. (laughs) Hang on to him while I ease him off the saddle. And this easier way to get him to ground. Let him him go. Now you can see the sign of the Black Arrow on his wrist. Glory be. The other four are tied, waiting to be taken into custody. They're in the baggage car. And I'll put handcuffs on this one so we come back. You wonder why Hank and Vince Williams didn't shoot a sheriff? And I'll tell you why. They didn't understand just what the Black Arrow stood for. And I started talking to them about it, explaining just how the purpose of this whole Black Arrow Legion was to further the interest of a few selfish men in Washington in a plot to overthrow the government of the United States when the citizens had been properly terrorized. Well, Hank's eyes grew wide, and he believed me. He told me about the scheme, the murder of the troopers, and the location of the hideout. And there's a lot of stolen cash and goods. And he said, You won't need more than one sheriff to capture the gang, neither. He and Vince tell the truth about the Black Arrow. At least half the men will be with us. Just you come and get us. Sure, we all had a part in the murder of the soldiers. We was misled. We was lied there. We thought we was acting for the good of the country. You just come and take us. I'll take my chance with the jury. And I'll tell them plenty about the critters in Washington have lied to us. The real leaders of the Black Arrow. Well, that's what Hank said, Sheriff, and I believe him. Now let's ride in and smash this game. <laughs> I'm with you. Lead the way, Lone Ranger. Get up. Get up there. I'll do uh, The roundup of the gang was completed in short order. Then, when the Lone Ranger and Tonto had settled in their new camp... An animal was heard nearby. Tonto grasped his rifle. Wait, and... don't shoot yet, Tonto. Look at that animal. That's no wolf. It's a dog. Here, boy. A good dog, too. What's the matter, fellow? What is it? Tonto, he wants us to follow him. He's trying to tell us something. Come on, we'll find out what it is.
story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>